Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Crackhead's definitely going to love you. Oh, yeah, yeah this feels good, doesn't it? And just breathe through your nose. Don't bite your tongue. Okay. Now, do you work with Dr. Hightower? He is my fiance. Oh, okay. He's the Even love better. of my life. There you go. <laughs> she works at life. Yeah. Okay, Lai, stand right here for me first. Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Lais in here with us this afternoon. And Lais flew here with Dr. Bo Hightower, who they're they're getting married, so they're fiancés. So I'm going to make sure and treat her really well because, as you know, Dr. Bo is a really big guy and works on all these the UFC fighters, right? Sure. Yeah, so we don't want him to send anybody here to Houston to beat me up. They've already tried to do that and it didn't work, but he might be the one. So I'm going to treat Lais just like she was my own wife, Renee. Okay, so let's have you close your eyes for me for just a moment and flex your head forward and backwards. So hold your hands out in front of you, though. Pull your shoulders forward. So flex just, just your head. Yeah. Like this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then backwards. And then neutral. Okay. A little bit forward and right. You know, we really like people to wear their yoga pants in here because I get a much better biomechanical an analysis whenever they have yoga pants on. Biomechanics. Yep, it's all about biomechanics. They should be called biomechanics pants. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should invent those. That's a great idea. Do more Okay, let's. Lais, let's have you go ahead and lay on your tummy. This crinkle, this paper is just not long. You need more. You need more. Oh, that we we'll get it done with that. Same that's, one. No, that's a fresh piece for Lais. Okay. <laughs> Okay, legs are even. She's doing better than both of you guys so far. And they stay even. That doesn't tighten up too badly in your low back either, does it? Mm -hmm. So she's got a little bit of left SI right there and a little bit on the right, but not bad. A little bit tender right there in L5. Tight pair of spinals in her upper lumbars, lower thoracics. Ooh, that's tender. You got a few ribs displaced in there with where they attach to your vertebrae and your thoracic spine. You got a cervical subluxation right there, right there. And you said you get headaches somewhat frequently. Yes. And your C2 is way off to the left right there. Do you feel that? Me? Yeah. Do you feel that when I'm pushing on? What else should I be feeling? Well, it should probably feel a little tender right there. Yeah, I yeah. suppose. Okay. So, now we got that straightened out. I'm going to adjust your SI joints. Now this is me taking it easy on you. Okay. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. You're going to be like Renee Crackhead. definitely going to love you. There we go. Good. One more. There. Yes, ma'am. Still even. Probably still feels good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move up into your cervical spine here, too. Straight PDA on this one. You got a little less um, heavy, head, heavy headedness on yours, so I'm going to lighten that up for you. There you go. Okay, now let's turn you on your back for me, ladies. See, I gotta do my exercises all day long in between patients. On my back? Yeah. I didn't hear you crinkling in the face paper. No, it, it's sprinkleless in yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Renee will be on Amazon as soon as we get out of here on that. Good. Okay, slide down this way about an inch right there. And put both arms straight out to the sides. Yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna adjust your AC joints. Your sternal clavicular joints and then your anterior costosternal joints. You said you had a lot of stress in your upper thoracic spine as well. It's probably because your ribs are subluxated with the thoracic spine and the sternum. Go ahead and relax your leg in my hand. There you go. And you should have felt that for me to be all the way up in your lower back. That was great. I liked it. Good. Bad girl. Alrighty. 
Okay, let's sit you up now. Face your fiance. Okay. There we go. Ooh, Ooh boy. <laughs> Lots of crap just in this shoulder here. There you go, good. Ooh, this one too. Boy, yours and Renee's shoulders done quite a bit a lot. <laughs> Now, Lais likes to adjust her own cervical spine, so she's a little hypermobile there. So we're gonna take it really easy on her when we do her manual neural spinal decompression. Looky there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ring. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Take it. Lais, let's have you come over here. You get center stage now. <laughs> Ready? Not ready. You will be. You'll be alright. I don't have any heads on my trophy wall yet. Am I where I need to be? Uh, okay. I'll let you know in half a sec. Slide down. There you go. Perfect. You just like her name in the last two pegs. There you go. That's how I advise most of my patients to start sleeping on their backs with their legs raised parallel to the floor. This flattens the lumbar spine out, changes the angles of the ilii. Okay, lift your Yeah, hand. that's great. There you go. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. No, I mean the, <laughs> the way I'm laying. Oh, it's yeah, it does feel good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. Why should my hands be? Right here. And just breathe through your nose. Don't bite your tongue. See there? That wasn't nearly as bad as you thought it was going to be, was it? No. Oof. See, you Good survived. Breath. Yeah, I was so nervous. <laughs> Sorry, lay your head in my hands. See, I put more of a P to A thrust into this as opposed to a rotary thrust. <laughs> now, you've had your neck manipulated before you yeah. said you didn't like it much. Yeah. Had that it wasn't bad. It wasn't a pinkle or anything. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, so let's have you come over here, stand in front of the mirror so I can shoot you too. When I finish up with the patient so that we can start the neurospinal learning process in the cerebellum, because the cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement throughout the body. So let's have you flex forward and backwards and remember how this feels. Just your Put head. Your head. Oh. And then back backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and then neutral. You're all right. Don't worry about it. Look in the mirror right now. You stand up square as a military woman. Yeah, I felt good straighter. In the, yeah, in the shoulders. Yep, pull these up and back for me. And this, this will help that upper thoracic tightness you were talking about. This is the hard part, though. Your head's a little forward, so we're going to come straight back Z. And then negative theta X. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas right there. And another little tap right there. Okay, now try that very same move again. Tell me if this feels any smoother to you than the previous two times you did. Yeah, that feels a lot smoother. I'm getting full chin to chest. Good. Mm -hmm. Are you there? You're right down there. Right Perfect. Nice. You look better than either one of these guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not so, so, this is your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief 2. Yeah. You guys came all the way here from Albuquerque to mm -hmm. see us today. Yeah. What would you tell our crack addict fans about your first experience here at our office? Overall, everything. History, exams, everything. Everything was amazing. The exam was very thorough. I really appreciate that. It, it was all, overall a really great experience. I highly recommend it. Great. And I highly recommend you go see Dr. Hightower if you're in New Mexico or even if you're in California or New York because you're you got an airport there in Albuquerque too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well thank you for thank sharing you. your experience thank here you today. So much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. It's my pleasure. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnston, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief with a couple of the top chiropractors in the United States sitting right in here with us today. Dr. Bo Hightower and Dr. Brent Bender. Make sure you check out their channels. So I'm, I'm like the third best cracker in this room right now. So. Look, look, yeah. <laughs> look them up on YouTube because they've got some great content as well. We'll see y'all next time. Okay.
So just what actually, just happened? Can you do I just got the ring dinger. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was all, I almost chickened out, but it feels really good. I feel good. I feel great. I didn't die. So <clears throat> I didn't go in. <laughs>